Greetings, everyone! And... No, no, you're oh. fine. Oh, God. I, thought you were, I thought you were waving like, stop. No, 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 Greetings, no, no, no. Everyone. You don't realize when you do this every time, I'm like, I react to everything, so. <laughs> Off camera. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Midweek War! The realest podcast in the room. <laughs> I am Mad Mike. Y'all know who the fuck I am. Yes, you um, are. And with me, as always, is the one and only ever present Sorgatron. Yes, I am. <laughs> and the very, very short, punctuated statement Sorgatron. Yes, oh, they no. are. Oh, no, Sorg. Did you see what NXT just posted an hour ago? I did. We'll talk about that on the NXT show. Holy, I'm sorry. I'm literally just seeing this because I was going to bring up the chat room, but holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, there's, we're, there's some stuff happening. Oh, we're going to talk about that. Okay. Um, What show are we talking about now? 205 Live. 205 Live, yes. Fuck. Damn, NXT. You can't just drop that on me. Okay. Um. Sorg, what what's your word for two hundred five live? I'm I, still I'm can, still can I, I I I don't know. This might be against the rules, but instead of a, a word, I kind of want to use a term. Um, okay. Insane clown posse. <laughs> How did I know that you were gonna go that route? It was an easy one. Like I if it, if it wasn't Juggalo, no. it was gonna be Oddity. Or magnets, or something. Fuck you and your magnets. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and your perplexing magnets. Hey, I, I'm a scientist, and I still don't know how they work, all right? Hey! If it makes you feel better, Take that. I'm not sure how they work. That's right. Feel right. better about that, Juggalos. I'm, uh, one, I'm one of them. That, 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 sort. I, I um, my, my word, uh, I don't normally do this, but I have one word for you. And I'm going to spell it out <laughs> for you. Mm-hmm. C-L-O-W-N, clown! <laughs> Fantastic. Fan. Where would you think I was going with that I, one? No, I don't, you know, that's pretty much. Why the else would <laughs> yeah. you be doing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't, I don't know if anything else happened. Uh, <laughs> all right, Sorg, of course. Uh, the, the word is really soft. Of course, yeah. obviously. Yes, yes. So Brandon also yeah. has the same, the same in yeah. the chat room. And if you guys join us later, Brandon, Brandon's word is swaft. Swaft, which I I appreciate. I think that's a different. Pre- <laughs> okay, he just made his own word. Just make your own, man. Yeah. It's all right. Just make it your and, own. And and Tina's word is certified. I like mm. it. That's good. She she's much more classy than all uh, than the rest of us. Well, <laughs> it's that West Coast, uh, you know. It's that hipster Seattle vibe yeah. where you have three Starbucks in every block, you know. That's just how that's just how Tina rolls. Look at us, we got great coffee and a bunch of rain. <laughs> Look at us, we have a Funko Pop store. It's literally, <laughs> it's literally all I know about the Northwest is rain, coffee, and Nirvana. So, and Twilight, <laughs> Twilight, <laughs> and Twilight. Okay, okay. That's what I've been told. Hey, you know, <laughs> hey, I know you read all the books, but anyways, that's not what this podcast is about. Two that's, that's fine. That's a different po- We should do that podcast one of these days. So <laughs> no, we shouldn't. I, no, we shouldn't. <laughs> the Twilight Mayhem Show coming soon no. to Patreon. No. Patrons, if you donate $6.32, you will get a Twilight Mayhem Show. I don't think they can do that. <laughs> Six dollars and thirty-two cents. I don't, I don't think. I, I, don't, think I think it's rounded up. I don't know why I picked that arbitrary number. <laughs> I thought it had something to do with sparkly vampires somehow. Like, nope, is there a it number? definitely. It, it definitely has nothing to do with that. I just randomly picked six three two. Anything at all? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um. So, Sorg, two o five live. Yes. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, that one, that thing. Uh, what, what's your good this week for 205 Live? That's my good. I love wrestling. Hey, okay, disclaimer, by the way. I apparently didn't finish watching 205 Live, and I completely <laughs> forgot about it. I, I watched the most of it, and it was one of those, like, oh, okay, I'm done putting the podcast up. I really should go to bed, you know, because I, I usually watch it, you know, Tuesday nights after we're doing the show, which starts at 10 p.m., and we usually do, like, two or three hours. 
Um, so sorry. Uh, so I, I, I kind of, kind of have a little bit of a slight. Eh, whoops. Just a Fondness. sword. Just didn't wait for the maid in Florida. No, I didn't <laughs> wait for the maid in Florida, or the maid in New York, or whatever it was for this one. Um. Yeah. Yeah. No. Sorry. Born in Brooklyn. Born in Brooklyn. Oh, no. There you go. There you Born go. in Brooklyn. From the Brooklyn Film Associate. I don't know. Um. Anyways, no, no, no. My, uh, my good is the one match that I saw. Well, there are only two matches on the show. Yes. So I, so I had a fifty percent of a good answer there. Um. No, I'm liking. You know, I think Nice is on top of things. Cedric is Cedric is always on fire. Uh, Met- Metallic is, seems to do something new every match that that is awesome. Um, and Drew Gulak is gonna Gulak. I, I like that Metallic is actually getting a regular spot on the show from now on. Good, yeah. I mean, they, you know, it's kind of I feel like they're cycling people in and out, and and it feels like they kind of show where they're gonna do that. And instead of people like languishing on main event, it's like no, we're gonna like not use some people for a while. Let them go do things on the indies, I, I'm presuming, and come mm-hmm. back in and, and we'll use them on 205 Live for like six months. Now all we need is Kitty Cat Man back on our screens. Oh, Kitty Cat Man or bust. <laughs> um, I'm, my good this week is actually going to – and um, what the word I was going to use before uh, Enzo came out and made his debut – was going to be absolutely oh because <laughs> sorg sorg tony nice in one non mic promo might have become my favorite wrestler of the week that that's what i've been telling Nikki you Cross. that's what i've been telling no, you man I, he's been he's been drawing me in. it's been a slow Sorg, I've been trying not to fall hard and fast for things it's it's been a slow you don't love. want tony nice's abs to break your heart i understand Sorg, basically, you know um, how to lose a guy in ten days. You know the you know that not movie. By, not by experience, no. Okay, it, it, it's a it's a fine movie. Go check it out at your local Netflix. <laughs> your local Netflix. Um, but Tony Nice and I, we've basically been starring in a show called How to Win Over Mad Mike in Eight Reasons, and. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's been eight weeks since I'm like, hey, you know, Tony Nese is starting to be okay. And here we are eight weeks later, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm there. I'm right there. Um, But, yeah, uh, he started cutting puns about his body parts during his entrance. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, that's how you win me over. And Tina says she thinks I have a man crush. She's absolutely right. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. I mean, it's, I mean listen. Right. Listen, you know, a good friend of mine in the wrestling business says nobody's in this business and they're 100% straight. And I think at a certain point, it's okay for wrestling fans uh, to have a man crush. Absolutely. I, you can you can call Tony Nese the Trap King. Get it? Get it? Trapezius muscles? I, I get it. I get it. I okay. Get it. All right. I see how you dealt with that sword. I, ah! <laughs> I did the same thing he did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway, uh, my goodness. And week. by the way, and classic, I, and I know you've been working out, Mike, but I, I can't imagine you've been working out that much as Tony oh. Nese. Guys, oh, without Christ, most, no. guys without most of these body parts that he's talking about, joking about these body parts he's talking about. Hey, to be fair, we have them. We're just not sure where they are. No idea where my delts are. Absolutely no idea. It's like when he does the motion and then says the word, I'm like, oh, that's where that's supposed to be. I, I know where the buys and the tries are. I Like, do or do not, there is no try. I got that. It's right here. The buys, I know that. Delts, I they're around here somewhere, I think. I don't know. I got an elbow and a wrist, and everything's mushy in between. It's okay. The knee the knee bone's connected to the shin bone or something. Um, But my, my good this week... Sword, finally Enzo Amore is on 205 Live. The thing you've been begging for for oh a year. Oh, my God. It finally happened. Honestly, I'm super pumped. I want to see Enzo Man. dethrone Neville. You know what I can't wait for? Enzo to mix it up with uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Brian Kendrick. Oh, God, that'll be good, too. But you know what I want, Sorg? Just, just some backstage interaction. Enzo mm. and Jack Gallagher. <laughs> I feel like they could be buddies. Uh, they could be buddies. Uh, 
Yeah, I feel like that's an that's two oh five lives odd couple. Right there. <laughs> I, I really feel like that's it. Like, oh, I'm very excited. Very excited for that. Um I've been wanting this for a while, clearly, ever since they had their split. Since at least then. But I I feel like Enzo's finally in a place where he can actually shine. Or, you know, hit the pavement. <laughs> you know, it, it's sink or swim time, I think, for Enzo being on two oh five live. Because there's a lot of great wrestlers there. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, but Sork, not every show is perfect. We know this. Uh, what will be your bad for 205 Live this Listen, week? Listen, if you're going to tell me there's going to be a gentleman's duel and you're going to bait and, swi- bait and switch me with this clown bullshit, no. 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 You deliver with a gentleman's duel. Okay, 205 Live or whoever the hell runs 205 Live because it sure as hell ain't Road Dog. Okay, how how do you really feel? <laughs> Mike, I'm a little miffed. I can see that, yeah. You, you, you sound like the Miz on Monday. Or, you know, someone else. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that was... I was really... Especially, there was a candlestick, Sorg. There was a candlestick on that table. I want to see that get used. I want to say Mr. Kendrick in the Barclays with a candlestick. Maybe next time. Maybe next time when they're not they're not screwing with us. Well, next week they're supposed to have a no DQ match, and if every fucking weapon from that table doesn't get used, I'm gonna be very upset. Absolutely, bring it all. Bring all it right, all. Uh, my my bad this week. It's it's more of a selfish bad than anything else. Sorg, do you know what I want? You know what I want to see when I went to uh, Brooklyn more than anything this weekend. You mm. know what I want to do, Sorg? What's that, Mike? I wanted to buy a Drew Gulak shirt. I'm not even going to lie. I, Drew Gulak has come out with this shirt for the past month or so. And so, y- y- you know you know what the unfortunate thing is? Hmm. WWE doesn't sell that fucking shirt. Oh, no. Like, at all? At all. Uh, not even on I'm not, shop. I'm, nope. I'm not sure if he's on pro wrestling tees or what the fuck is going on. I want that Drew Gulak shirt because I want to support Drew fucking Gulak, and I'd like that shirt a lot, and you can't buy it. That's unfortunate. You can't buy it. It, It's very – like, I want that shirt. I want the iconic shirt. I don't care. I I want Billy Kane, Peyton Royce's shirt because they are fantastic. And uh, Tina in the chat room says the hilarity that will ensue when Rich Swan and Enzo dance. Oh, and Tina's also saying that that shirt is from his CZW days. Really? Okay, so maybe it isn't pro wrestling tees. I'm, I'm trying to look okay. them up right now, actually. Uh, continue, okay. Continue, continue with your rants. And, yes. And um, but yeah, my my bet. Uh, we need more merch for 205 Live people. Absolutely. Just in general, like you want to know why that show is not getting over because there's no merch to push. Like, how is there not a Neville level shirt? How is there not an I'm a kitty cat guy? For Mad Mike. <laughs> I'm a kitty cat man. Which, um, hey, hey, remind me again, what was the shirt that he was wearing? Uh, it's oh, uh, damn it! Now I can't Never remember mind. what it says. I, I'll pull up. Anyway it's like a, the it's like a yellow. It's like a yellow shirt with a round logo on it. I forget what it says on it though. Mm. But um, but yeah, like uh, oh, oh, I think to... I found it. I, I'm going to send something over to you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh Apparently, Tina says that's when he was in a stable with Kimberly. Hint, hint. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. I'd love to see that. Mm. But, yeah, like, just 205, guys, 205 Live guys need more merch. Just in general. Like, but we, hey, we man, need to be able to support them. If most of them are on, uh, and Drew Gulak is very much on Pro Wrestling Tees, and he's got some really great shirts I think you're going to like. Um, yep, that, gets, that, is, that is the shirt. Is um, that the I shirt? So so the shirt yeah. that I found, and um, it, this is here for you guys. You should be able to see that. It says Gulak for a better combat zone. And I guess there was a yellow I, version that you saw. I think it's a yellow version. I thought it said for a bear 205 live. So you may have an updated one that he did. So Yeah. Um so he basically did this before. Um oh and this is a women's shirt, so not for you, Mike, sorry. Unless I mean um, we could probably get Gulak. I mean, you know, I I have a girlish There's figure. Also a Gulak Hero Six shirt. Yeah. All right. There is one that said somewhere um for a bear two oh five live. I'm seeing he posted a picture of his shirt. Battlestar. So there, there, there's a Battlestar Galactica. 
<laughs> there's ah, that's there's a Galactus parody shirt. <laughs> he, oh. Oh, oh, dude, this is pretty amazing. <laughs> this is great. No knee pads, no problem. <laughs> I've My seen this roots. shirt. This shirt I've seen before. Big Sunday is a. It's like an old wrestling thing. Five man band: Drew Galloway, Chuck Taylor, Trent, and their best friends Drew Gulak and I think is that Adam Star, Aaron Star, I'm a, Austin Star. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not Austin. Oh, Aerostar. Oh shit! <laughs> they got a time traveler in that piece. Yes, it, yes, they do. I bet he. I bet he has the tambourine. Oh. Did do they do they um play the song from Back to the Future? I don't know. No, I definitely gotta go back in time. Because somebody somebody had this shirt at, at uh, Chikara when we uh, went to King of Trios Tina, last year. Was... Tina says they're called the Gentlemen's Club. Of course they are. Of course, of course. They are. that is that is wonderful. That oh. is wonderful. Oh, oh, Thank oh, you I, for the I insight, find Tina. The, at the top, there is a men's uh, a men's version of that that shirt that you like. Yes. So, there you go. Excellent. I would like to make a better combat zone. All right, uh, so Sorg, what would you change about 205 Live this week? Or is it just more ranting about there being a gentleman's duel? Maybe if the clown was Violent J, I would have been a little happier about it. <laughs> if the clown was Violent J, that would have been amazing. And then also there would have finally been good news for the Insane Clown Posse for this year because they've had a bad year. So hey, I don't know. Everyone wanted them to take down protesters. So that's well. There's that. I don't know. We'll see how September 16th runs. I'm kind of okay that I have another job that day because I was completely going to take a train and go down there and see just to see what happened. I just want to see Juggalos versus Nazis. Like I do. That sounds like that sounds like an indie film. So we should make that. They better not make me wish I wasn't there. Sorg, Sorg, do you think they'll bring Richard Justice as a police officer? Anyways, what was your, where were we at with, with 205 Live? What's your, what's your, what's your McCall? All right, so you're, so you're changing me to have Violet J. I'm Got glad it. you keep track of this because I am having trouble. All right. My change would be, um, I would have had Jack Gallagher actually have the gentleman's duel with the clown. Hmm. Like, just make it a match. Why not? Like clearly the guy was an indie worker. Like that that's that's not a surprise at all. And also, uh we have we have Brandon talking about impact. No, listen, in, uh, Brandon's been doing room. a good he's been he's been live tweeting uh impact for us. Uh, uh Eli Drake's. Thank you, thank you, Brandon, for falling on that sword. <laughs> that particular right. sword. Because I'm not gonna lie, I've read some stuff about impact. He seems to enjoy it. He I'm I'm glad he enjoys it. I know if I watched it, I would just be punching the television. <laughs> because there are people on there, I'm like, why aren't you on better shows? <laughs> like, just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Like, I don't even know if the debuting Johnny Impact, which, not even going to get into that, and Taya will make me go back to Impact. As much as I love them, like, I would, I would rather spend that two hours watching um boone the bounty hunter again well i mean come on come on exactly man. by the way yeah, I exactly think, i think i sold our friends at the scare house on boone the bunny hunter B- bounty hunter today the bunny hunter oh, can boone? we have a sequel boone the bunny hunter <laughs> <laughs> when boone takes a special case at the playboy mansion oh, okay i was thinking more of an easter movie but yeah that works too <laughs> You think it's scary house bunny? Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Anyways, oh man, there are so many ways we can go with that. Mm-hmm. Let's just combine all three of them. Yes, all <laughs> these are great ideas. The scare house bunny is attacking the Easter egg hunt at the Playboy Mansion, and somehow, Boom! and somehow, the dad from Psych is is completely, uh, it was completely the bad guy in it because that's what. Spoiler yes, alert. and and Tara Reed reprises her role as Bunny Lebowski. Oh. All right, what were we talking about? What is this show? Sword. We're what talking about two hundred five. We're talking about two hundred five live, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Which it could be uh, like every show we do, we talk about so and so, kinda. So yes, Sorg. Um, where would you rank two hundred five live this week? Oh, it's so tough because. Um, I'm going to go, and this is because I didn't watch the last match. Don't, I'm, I'm, I'm bearing that in mind. 
Which, but we, we should mention the last match. The last match with Tazawa and Neville was very, very good. So I need to, I do need to go. I need to go back and watch it. Yeah, it, uh, it was I, very, I very I good. Do. I still feel this is number three, not a distant number three, but number three nonetheless. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with number two. I'm going to go with number two, actually. Um, I I, th- I really liked what 205, what 205 Live brought. I love that Enzo's on there now. I feel like that gave it the shot in the arm it needed after the main event, while good, was a little bit predictable. So, I, I mean, you know, I, I really, I think Enzo gives that show the shot in the arm it needs. Now, if we can just get Kalisto on there, and, oh, there was one more person I've always wanted on there and hasn't been, and now I can't think of it. But, yeah, Kalisto needs to be on there, too, damn it. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, well, that, that's it. Sork, we, we talked about 205 Live mostly. We, we, we mostly got through that, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, next week, I'm really excited to see what Enzo does. I'm very curious to see how that's going to go. I'm, I'm, I'm just going through the con. Uh, the, 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 the team is asking, could this all be directed by Rob Zombie? Like th- this or? Yes. No, no. Uh, B- Boone the Bunny Hunter. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All the oh, filters God. and dirty music. Oh, man. Uh-huh. And and, uh-huh. and Sherry Zombie's completely going to get cast in that somewhere. Oh, and you know what? If Rob Zombie's doing it, Sorg, you know who plays Hugh Hefner? Hmm. Danny Trejo. Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, naturally, it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> All right. Sorg. Where can the good people of the internet find you? I'm going to be at my local grocery store trying to figure out where I can find Ninja Turtle ice cream that I just found on Instagram. Wow, this looks awesome. (laughs) 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 At Sorgatron, SorgatronMedia.com, a lot of new podcasts. Um, Some great stuff, you know, uh, the opposite of this show, some stuff about some uh, uh, women talking about some great stuff, and uh, Scarehouse podcast. And, and the, the broadcast was the first one I mentioned, and a lot of uh, other friends um, out, uh, wrestling and outside. What? What's that? No, 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 no. We're not. We're, we're not announcing that yet. We know, that's a secret. That one's a secret. Don't tell the Sorg, people about that, Missy. Sorg, are you planning to secretly kill a wrestler? No, 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 no. They didn't hear that as well as you did. Um, <laughs> anyways, man, Mike. You can find me at Mad Mike 483 on the Twitter machine. Also, go to at Mayhem Show. Look for the hashtag MM for when I live tweet things like Lucha Underground and, you know, occasionally throw some stuff out there. But, uh, yeah, so for Sorgatron, I'm Mad Mike, and this has been your Midweek War!